Hi there, I'm Jennifer Ferguson with Artistic Painting Studio, and today we are going to do a really fun epoxy pour, and we're doing it on a cornhole board, okay? So this is something that I'm creating uh, for my nephew Eric for a fundraiser, and these are going to be auctioned off. So I have already mixed up my epoxy, and I've tinted my main epoxy black, but I also put a little bit of gold dust in here. So it's gonna be a little bit of a sparkle, okay? So I am gonna pour this out across my surface. And then I'll start moving this around and we're gonna take everything out of this bucket so that we've got plenty to work with here. Because we're gonna need every ounce. Okay. So there are trowels to actually start moving this out, or you can just use your hand as I am doing. It's not a big deal. And you just want to move it out across the surface so that we have coverage everywhere. And I've mixed up um, three ounces per square foot of product to cover this. So this was a two by four. So that's eight square feet and then times three. Okay, so we had, I think it was, okay, I'm doing my math, 24 ounces. <laughs> um, and just go ahead and I'm going to put it all across the top first and then I'll come back and I'll start worrying about my edges. So like I said, if you have one of the notch trowels, you can also use that. I'm just kind of having fun getting my hands truly into my projects here. And even as you get close to that, you should be able to see that beautiful gold dust that is shimmering, okay? So now that I have 100% coverage, I'm now going to go ahead and take my fingers and I'm going to run this along the edges and get it all on your edge, okay? Um, the edges of this cornhole board, including the hole, have been routered with a quarter inch router, okay, top and bottom, so that the epoxy will just pour over the edges, um, which is really nice. And my table is definitely clever, covered with plastic so that whatever is running over the edge, we won't have any, any mess to actually clean up. It works pretty good. So we're going to make sure we've got the center here done as well. And then I think I just have this last edge to get. And as you're doing this, if you have a bunch that like pours off of one edge and you're on a clean piece of plastic, you can actually pick up the epoxy from the plastic and put it right back onto the board, okay? Now this plastic um, was used already for the other board, so I'm not going to pick anything up, okay? So we should be really good here. We've got a nice pour here. Let's just make sure I've got that on all edges. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit this with a blowtorch and we're going to bring all the air bubbles up to the surface. Now before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and change gloves because that's probably the easiest thing to do instead of trying to clean that glove off. And then unfortunately when you take off a glove, your hand's sweaty so it's hard to get the next one back on. Um, two things. You can clean off your glove with some just alcohol. We use 91% alcohol. Um, or you can change gloves. The other thing I also do with my blowtorch is cover it with press and seal so I don't have to worry about it getting too gunked up. Okay, so we're going to get this blowtorch out and we are just going to put this across the top edge. Don't get too close because you can burn it. But if you see this closely, you can see how it is bringing all the bubbles to the surface and making it clear. Okay. 
Okay, so the next thing I'm going to check for is if we have any dimples in the surface, which is basically called surface tension, and it's just a little air pocket that's kind of keeping the epoxy away from that little hole, but it doesn't look like we have any. So the next thing I'm going to do, oh my gosh, you guys, this is gorgeous, that sparkle. Um, I have mixed up some gold mica powder in the 91% alcohol. This is rubbing alcohol. Shake it up really good, and then test this first. Make sure you've got the spray the way you want it. So go ahead and just hit it onto your floor or something that you can make sure that you have it spraying out the way you want it, okay? And I'm gonna hold this up high because I just want little drops to come out. And we're gonna spray the whole background of this because this is gonna be our background interest, okay? So this is gonna give us a little bit of color and interest everywhere. Oh, and that's beautiful, you can just see that mica is just distributing through there and creating a little bit of a fractured finish, okay? And you can see how the surface is dimpled, okay? okay. And that actually is from the alcohol, but it's self-leveling, so that is going to um, take care of itself. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to grab some of the epoxy that I've mixed up with gold mica powder, and I'm gonna create um, just a vein going through here. So I'm just letting the epoxy just create some movement. And you can do whatever you want as far as design, but um, this is just gonna be really fun. And you can drag this through, let it come over the top. Any place you want more, just load it in there. I'm going to bring this a lot larger here at the bottom. So I'm going to bring in some more color. Okay, and then we're also going to bring in another vein across the top here. And then we're going to just add a little bit of color everywhere, okay? Just letting it come off your stir stick as it may. Well, let's hope I made up enough of this. <laughs> I might be getting too crazy with this, okay? Okay, and now I'm going to grab the teal that I've pre-mixed. And again, this was made with mica powders. And I'm gonna let some of this float around the gold And I'm just letting it come off the stir stick and just letting it go wherever. Okay, then from there, we're gonna go ahead and grab a chop brush. And this is a chop brush, it's just a two inch cheap brush. Get them from Harbor Freight and we are going to go ahead and pre-wet this one with our leftover black mixed epoxy, okay? So that way I'm not putting a dry brush into the surface and when I'd be lifting a lot of epoxy. And we're just going to chop this, okay? Just kind of pounce over it and just pounce out some of the lines, but we don't have to over mix it because we're still gonna be able to move some of this color with our heat gun and it's just going to give us a little bit of color randomly. So just chop that in. Okay, so now we're going to have some fun with the heat gun, okay? We are going to move our veins around as well as move some of the color. So as your heat gets on here, you can start pushing that color around and creating with it, okay? So that's why I said don't don't over blend it because your heat gun is gonna create a lot of interest and move the color.
Okay, once we've got movement on all of our color that's just kind of randomly, now I'm going to go in and kind of play with the vein I created and move this around a little bit. And you can push from both sides, okay? So you can move the color whichever direction you want. Okay, at this point, now also be very careful with your heat gun. That end is really hot. Make sure you never touch that because um, you will burn yourself. Okay, so I'm also going to still come back with some more of the teal and I'm going to add this to my veins here going through just to add a little bit more color and interest and then if you feel like you need to add any color anywhere else where you just don't feel like you have any interest going you could always get a little bit of something going But believe me, this this board has a lot going on um, everywhere in the background. You've got your glitter. Oh, I should say glitter. Have diamond dust or gold dust. We have the gold alcohol. Um, so let's just play with that for a minute and move that around. Okay, now it is one of those things that you can keep playing, okay? If you're not happy with the way something looks or you feel like you got too much color somewhere, you can always come back and just chop it up a little bit. If you've got any divots, you definitely can chop through those as well. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is we're going to throw a little bit of black into the veins and this will be our final thing that we're going to do before we're just going to let this sit and it's definitely going to um, continue to evolve overnight okay as the epoxy um, kind of comes off of the surface so I'm just using um, black gloss okay and spraying it on my stick and then I can just draw that right into the veins Okay, let's play with that. We've got a lot of black down here, so we might move that around a little bit. So I'll have to say one of the things that I absolutely love about epoxy is you can just continue to play and continue to play until you absolutely love it, okay? Um, so you've got, I want to say probably a good 30 minutes at least to, to play with this before things are going to start setting up, but you could always bring your blowtorch back over it and kind of warm things up so you can move it. But I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, we'll have complete products and uh, make sure you hit our subscribe button here on our YouTube channel so that you'll always know when our new videos are coming up. Thank you for joining me. This has been a blast. Bye guys.